friends. I have missed you. I took, I think it was like two weeks off uh, of YouTube. And so I'm back. Uh, today is Monday, so happy Monday. Uh, so what have I been doing in the past two weeks? Well, mostly gardening. So I just got done going into the community garden. So we have a couple plots of land. I call them plots of land, uh, raised beds. And that's the one that I showed you guys before. That garden used to be for Danica's um, preschool program um, for the kids. But since COVID, they have turned it into a community garden. So um, there's raised beds there that people can go in and you know um, take care of their garden. They provide the raised bed and then the soil, the compost, the mulch. Then you just provide the the water because there's no irrigation system in there and then um, the plants and then you just take care of the plants so we have I have helped Miss Mary over there she has a couple plots of land that she started from the very beginning and then I started uh, towards later on which I have corn and pumpkins and then um, strawberries and then also I have been working just on my garden <laughs> Miss Mary and I have been working on our garden so it's a lot of progress. Um, the backside backyard is already done, so here she is. Hi, Ms. Mary. Uh, we're gonna go into Flower World, uh, have breakfast, and go check out their flowers. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we're a little bit early. Oh, there, there's the guy walking to open up the gate. But I wanted to see their plants here. I like these. Our Flower World, our one happy place. But. Just wanted to, I'm here for creeping thyme, heather, limelight hydrangea, right? Oh, okay, here. Is he gonna open it? <laughs> oh, so we're just gonna be here for a little bit. <laughs> There's the limelight hydrangea, is that the one? Yep. Oh, yeah. so I want to get that one. See the ferns? Mm -hmm. See, I like to come here and look because if you look in your parking lot... Yeah, that's shaded. the other one. Okay, think of this as your backyard because yeah. of all the shade. Yeah. Look at this. This is the Bleeding Heart Fuchsia. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, so that's pretty too. I was thinking that would be really pretty too. Yeah, I like that one. So. Very pretty. Oh, look at this guy. It looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Did you just get one of him? You got him. Which one? Who is he? Tree. No, we didn't. That's the tree that I said I wanted. Oh, okay. But we have nowhere to put this tree, Miss Mary. Okay. But it's so pretty. We can go as long as we want because there's nobody here. Yeah, we're the first ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're the first ones to arrive. Like, so, so over there, there's um, there's the chickens, and then there's um, uh, let's go see. Got a ton of begonias. Begonias are only. Yeah, so. but they're pretty. I like petunias too. See, there's the chicken coop. Yeah, and then there's a little water garden over there. I like those. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got those. Oh. See, a lot of this stuff. There's bamboo. Oh, look at that hydrangea, deep purple. All right, we're here, friends. We're here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got some hardy fuchsias, three of them. Not pretty. So we're going to put this in the front. They're supposed to be perennial. I actually have these in pots that I can plant as well. They're sedums. We are looking for creeping thyme. Oh, not pretty. Look at this. $24.99 for all this. Mm. Pretty. This kid's playing over there by the waterfall. Oh, ferns. Yes, lots of ferns. Yeah, different varieties. Ferns. Are those the black eyed Susans or no? We got some of those. And there is a gun. Oh. 
Okay, are these perennials? Oh, I like these. Oh. Okay, I like these. All right, we're gonna buy that next time. Okay. Yeah. We won't worry about that until we get here. Yeah. So they don't have my creeping thyme. They only have the white ones. I really wanted the the lavender looking one. White creeping. See how white creeping. I wanted the lavender one. So we don't really need it right away. So we'll skip on that. And now we're going to look for... Which one? Oh, sage. The garden... up. I think it's called upright garden sage. Okay. I have these two. Is cover? Yeah. It's not? Oh. Well, it's like a border. Pretty. This is like almost natural little creek and then all the is it moss that's growing on it not pretty little pond area seeing that it just stay all right so no sage that i like no creeping thyme that i like i did get fuchsia so now I want to look for the limelight hydrangea. I don't want to worry about evergreen because there's always evergreen here. <sighs> ten heathers because we've been looking for heathers, but it's ten for forty, which is really good price considering they're supposed to be six ninety nine a piece. So seven times ten, that was supposed to be seventy dollars. So we're saving thirty. All right. So now to the limelight hydrangea, and I think that's it for the day. I told hubby I'm vlogging today. I'm back to work. Um, this is the cinnamon roll that Miss Mary gets the kids when we go there. It's super huge, so the kids share it. And then hubby is eating some of my leftovers. Um, I'm going to show you guys the garden downstairs. Um, because that's what I have been working on for the past, um, I think past two Before weeks. Before I go downstairs, I wanted to show you my succulents. So I had a um, few of these string of pearls um, that my mother-in-law gave me. So I divided it and it's really doing really well. If you guys can see, it's got like new buds. This one as well. You can tell the new growth is like darker green and it's more oval than round. And then that's the... Um, aloe that I got for like two dollars. So let me go ahead and show you downstairs. My front yard, that's the only plant I currently have on the stairs or upper stairs. So these ones I took down, we planted. Um, I'm gonna redo this. Hubby's gonna clean it up, um, uh, repaint and everything. And then the only plants I have are like the ones at the bottom. Those are gonna go on the ground as well. So I have azaleas here that's gonna go mostly in the back because they're shaded. These are ground cover. That's a sedum, and this is lily. Is it lily? I keep getting them mixed up. Yeah, lilies, right? And here is my little garden. But first off, this is the one that I bought today. These are hardy fuchsias, so they're more like a shrub. So I'm gonna plant three of them together so I can have like a, a big clump of that and it's really pretty because look at the pretty fuchsias See? and they're perennial so they'll come back and then these are I need to cut these down and divide it because they're really overgrown these are lemon I don't know if they're lemon balm or lemon mint we got some um, what do you call these lavenders that's a magnolia and then I got hostas here. Eventually these will go in the ground. Maybe leave that there, but these will go in the ground. And then more uh, lilies, day lily. That one is like the, the purple one, so that's the color. And then I added these rocks. And then I think I showed you guys, um, these were the bunnies that I had gotten. And the elephant ear. The burgundy color elephant ear and then these ones we repotted so they're they're kind of coming back to life but these are black-eyed Susans two of them these are Shasta daisies perennial okay and then they're kind of like this because they're 
um, repotted. So we just did this, I think, yes, yesterday. These are Adam's needles. I really like these. There's gonna, it's gonna be like a, a little bush, and then it's gonna have white uh, flowers, like kind of sticking upright. Yeah, so it's gonna be like that. Adam's needle. So I like to get perennials. I haven't been buying any annuals. I'm gonna get the annuals once the garden is established. Uh, these are, I believe, dogwood. That is clematis. I love the clematis. This one actually, when I we potted it here. It was nothing but a brown stick. And so Miss Mary and Hubby were kind of laughing at me. But look how much she's grown. Okay. More sedum. This one wasn't doing so well over there. So I brought her out in the shade. Lilacs, grasses. These are all going to be uh, potted, um, planted on the ground. So this is our front, which is... We've neglected the yard because I've been so busy with working and um, and we mainly focus like on the front um, inside the house. But we're going to rototill this everything and get rid of the grass. I'm going to put like raised beds into the middle and then put a fence there like a railing post. Um, rustic looking and then we're going to plant down there just like that one house that I show you guys on my walk that I really like. So these are the heathers that I got today. Pretty variety. I think I got like maybe four varieties. This is a tree heather. I've got some um, flamingo heathers. So 10 different ones. This is a U. These are sedums. There was, I had gotten all of these for I think like $6 or maybe nine. There was three pots and then I divided it into these. And they're just gonna act like a ground cover. This one's an azalea, rosy lights, azalea, that's pretty. This one is a nightshade, so this is going to go here. This one is a beauty berry, I'm pretty pretty. And then we also did this, so Miss Mary and I did this little rock path for the wheelbarrow to go through there and then hubby is going to connect it here and then have more gravel that connects to the yard uh, in the back so very pretty I'm happy about the heather so like really this one there's only one of these but I think I got two of each aside from that one so let me go ahead and show you guys the back part of the backyard it's overgrown because we hardly go in here and it's very hard to to mow because of the the terrace levels I've got some clematis and it's really blossoming there three of them so hubby made this he's gonna make another one over there this is just underneath the the kitchen balcony and then we're gonna make more steps like I said overgrown but we're gonna take out all the grass here and put gravel um, day lilies at the back lamb's ears honeysuckle we're gonna put um, just like Miss Twee's arbor in there lamb's ears more roses so I got two roses there that I planted this it's the honeysuckle that's really pretty. You guys can see that. And then look at these ro rose bush. One rose bush has so much flowers. Pretty. Okay. The back has not changed much. The trampoline is just a summer um, activity for the kids. So hubby's gonna disassemble that, place it back in the garage for the winter. And so that's gonna be open. I, I got more. Uh, trees here from uh, one of our local nurseries. I got Japanese maples. I got dogwood This one I tried to propagate more wisteria from my neighbor's yard it did not do so well because I think the branches were too thin lots of daylilies and Then peonies and then wisteria. This is an elderberry Peonies that needs to go into the ground I've got a bunch of those then ground cover and the one that I wanted to show you guys so we did that yesterday, rototillered it. We're gonna put Danica's playhouse there, give her a little area, a walking pathway for her grapes. So her beans have been uh, spent, so we pulled that out. And then what I'm going to do is turn all this into gravel for the trampoline to come in here next summer. And then all this, I'm gonna take out the grass and then I'm gonna have long uh, raised bed 
um, not made of wood I think made of some sort of a stone so it's gonna be long from that tree to around here two of them I'm gonna have a fire pit over here there's hubby's shed that he was working on the last time I was vlogging with you guys so this one we're gonna dump out or um, put back in the garage so the kids um, spent the few days of hot summer days but we're gonna have a stone path in here or gravel path and then it's gonna have the fire pit right there into the middle of the shed and here and then um, and then another raised bed here and then that's gonna be the white is over there I'm killing the grass right now and then it's going to have wisteria but this is the one that we finish Miss Mary and I finish I think I'm done with the plants I think I have enough plants to like really cover the yard now but look at this so we did we finished this side really nice so we got lilacs um, lavender gardenia rose of Sharon roses and to the back peonies here a ground cover more daylilies um, this is I forgot there's called it's like Pieris I think it's called peony lilac mint what is this one we use this for um, hula making lay or Pieris okay Japanese Pieris mountain fire my hydrangea, lavender, lilac, lamb's ears. And then we're gonna do this for the kids so that they can have a path right here for Noah and Danica to play together. But yeah, isn't that pretty? At least I did this part with Miss Mary and then we're just gonna cover this with gravel so I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm gonna get a truckload of gravel, have it delivered. And pretty much that's it. So we took out the stuff that was here this is something that Danica planted that's supposed to be sunflowers and zinnia so so yeah friends so that's all uh, what I've been doing I took uh, two weeks off uh, from you guys I did a little staycation I did uh, spend time with the kids I watched Twilight Saga with Danielle um, the whole series of the Twilight Saga in like three days so I've been spending time with her and then Danny oh my gosh Danny's like really grown now then of course little Danica <sighs> so and Jonathan you know Jonathan's a young man so he just does his thing but yeah so just spent time with the family but I have missed you guys so we did go um, so what's today Monday so Saturday we went back to the water went crabbing I'll go ahead and um, put that insert in here to show you guys that's what we did but other than that I have missed you I have missed you aloha friends good morning oh my gosh good morning friends aloha uh, it is an early morning showered no makeup on um, excuse the face but here's Jonathan, there's the kids, hubby, Danielle went to pick up Antonio, we woke them up, we woke up at 6, huh? Yes. We woke up at 6, and we woke up the kids at like almost 7, just so that we can be at the beach with no one around. <laughs> and the water is so much more calmer, uh, early in the morning. And it's actually a pretty warm day, but you see how the water is just so calm, perfect for uh, for the kids to go kayaking. I packed breakfast and coffee and bananas. And yeah, we're gonna spend a few hours here, have the kids um, have some fun in the water. You getting warm? Yeah. yeah. And these little girls, what are you guys doing? We're building. Building? Nice. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm gonna build another one. Oh, cool. And then hubby's gonna drop some pots. Last uh, last time we went, hubby got four. And so that was just pretty plenty. But so calming. The water is just so calming. And then it's low tide right now. You guys can see. <laughs> you want to take off your sweatshirt? Oh, no. It's warm. <laughs> so, getting some 101 
kayaking lessons really quick. Jonathan's having breakfast. Our nearest neighbor is way over yonder and he's about to go take off. Um. And then where's hubby? Oh, there's hubby right there. So when it enters that little blue dot. Like that. The funniest thing happened. So, you see how wet my pants are? I I push hubby out the second time around over there and the the water is going out more. Uh and <laughs> walking back, it was basically like quicksand. Um I got knee deep into the sand part. Like no joke. Um part of my leg was covered in sand beach sand i want to say mud but it's not mud Whew. is that how um sea glass is made it's because of you know bottles like that and then over time because i love sea glass but i've never really researched sea glass so it's very like low tide it's like going out more too No, this one's better. My whole should have worn shorts. That's taking Dak on kayaking after an unsuccessful attempt on the smaller one. Thanks. When Dad's dead, you're gonna tie, okay? Okay. You have time. <laughs> Shut up, you steal it. You still have a life jacket. Good job, hug. Oh, sorry. That's all right. All right, thank you. <sighs> There's Danica over there. Good job, Danielle. Danielle, this was, we bought this for your birthday like what, three years ago? Oh, really? <laughs> so much fun. We can do so much stuff um, in the water. We're not a camping family, but we are, we are water family. We saw a whole bunch of, uh, um, not crabs but clams so if you guys notice all those water spouting up over there those are clams you can ride with dad Danica did you have fun yay all right let's go help Danica can I go by myself in that kayak careful oh careful Ooh, hop up baby you can walk you know what we need to buy is a body is it body board the long body board oh, don't cool. yeah don't crash was that fun <laughs> Jonathan you want Antonio to go or you want to go you want to go I already went up here so. you want to what I'm sorry baby Oh, with me? Oh, I'm scared to go kayaking. You are brave. 